just talk about your state of mind right now before your big return to competition, six months after your last game? Well, hello everyone, first of all. Um, hello, Rafa. Good, no, uh, excited to be, to be back. Circumstances have been, um, you know, heavy for everyone, tough ones. But um, here, here we are. Um, Rome always is exciting. Uh, it's one of the most uh, important events in the in the world, without a doubt. And at the same time, uh, of course, will be not the same uh, with no crowd and uh, you know being in the bubble, not being able to enjoy a little bit the city. But. Uh, at least we have a tennis tournament here in Rome, no, and that's positive, and I'm happy for that. Eleanor, go ahead. Hi, Rafa. Uh, I just wondered how much of the US Open did you watch, and did you have any regrets at all about your decision not to play? No. Uh, when you take decisions, uh, you accept uh, and you have to to go with everything with your decisions at the end uh, i i make the a decision uh, time ago and uh, i had to to decide one thing or another and i i we did what we thought the best for for me family everything no? so uh from the U.S. Open, I watched um, I watched four sets of the final yesterday, uh, and I watched uh, I don't know some games in one match or another, but not not honestly not very very much. <laughs> Cindy, go ahead. Hello, Rafa. It's nice to see you back. Hello. Could you talk a little bit about your concerns going into Roland Garros now that they have decided to have fans and, and with spiking? And then my other question is, with Dominic winning at the U.S. Open and you beating him two years in a row in the final, does that add a little bit more drama going into Roland Garros this year for you? Um, no, I... I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't know what's the situation going to look like in in Roland Garros. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see how the the virus evolves the next couple of weeks. Uh, hopefully, it's in a in a good way. But uh, doesn't look like that. No. So let's see. Uh, we need to be patient and we need to wait about how how the situation improves. Um, no, happy for, for Dominic. Uh, if somebody deserves to win a, a big title, it's him. Super hard worker. Uh, very, very focused on, on his goals. Good, good person. That's a good human person. Uh, and he deserved it. Sorry for Sasha. He was close. Uh, but in some way, I think um, even if Sasha played uh, uh, a great final for a moment, uh, I think that. that the road to that final from Dominic have been a little bit more solid, so in some way he he deserved the the title now, and Sasha will have uh, probably uh, more chances in the future. But after a lot of years of hard work, I think Dominic deserved it. Happy for him. Ben, hi Rafa, nice to see you after a long time. I, I wanted to ask about uh, what happened with Djokovic and how his tournament ended very suddenly. I mean, you've always been a player who I think is pretty careful on court about the balls and the rackets and not doing anything that could be dangerous to anyone. I'm wondering if you think this moment will make more players reconsider and, and be careful seeing what the, the consequences of something like this can be uh, for anyone. No, the consequences have been always the same. Uh, nothing new on that. Novak was uh, unlucky. Uh, the rules says uh, clearly that's the default. Sorry for him. He was uh, he had an opportunity there. Um, 
but uh, in some way you should you should not be doing this. Uh, but even like this have been a very unfortunate, very unlucky situation. But it's important to have the the right self control on the on the court, because if not, you can have um, you can be unlucky as as he was, and for sure he wasn't. <laughs> He, for sure, he doesn't want to, to hit no one at all. And uh, yeah, he's unfortunate. Sorry for that. Last one in English. Back to David. Yeah. Uh, Rafa, you, you, you seem to be really uh, very fit, you know, physically really in good shape when we thought, you know, some, some short practices on win in Rome. How do you work for the tournament, you know, uh, for the, the last days, last weeks, you, you, you seem to be really, really very fit, very in a real good shape right now. No, I am similar to always, maybe a little bit worse because <laughs> I didn't compete for the last six months. No, no, it's, it's, obviously that, it's obvious that when uh, to feel at your 100 percent, you need matches. Uh, I, but here I am, I, I arrived with plenty of time to try to, to have the right practices. That's what, that's what I am doing. I know I have a tough first round against Pablo, and he's playing great. So let's see. You know, I, I am, for me, going to be a good test. I am excited about coming back to the competition. Um, the, without big expectations, no? the expectation is always go on court today and try to, to feel myself uh, competitive. That's the, the, first, the, first, uh, the first goal. Uh, go on court, feel myself competitive. Um, and then I, I will see how how I feel and uh, what's, what kind of goals I can, I can look for.